Hi everyone, John Zuzga with Zuma Concepts. Hey, today I'm bringing you a video on uh, electric bikes. Um, I built several of these. This is basically the first model with some modifications. Um, if you've seen some of my other videos, you've seen that this bike generally had a uh, 20 inch set of tires on it. I've recently pulled all those off, transitioned them in and built my son a e-bike. But what I wanna do is go through with you guys um, what it takes to build your own. You can save quite a bit of money. Normally these things cost about $2,000 or more. And you can build them for about seven fifty. dollars Explain to you what I did with this one and then the things I learned and the things I changed. I'm gonna show you the, the jump. So I'm gonna show you this bike, then I'm gonna show you um, the next generation that I built and I'll also show you the one that I built for my son. So I'm gonna jump off of this view and I'm gonna do some close-ups and show you with um, my hand held here. So just a quick overview with this particular bike it's now a front wheel drive and i'm pretty excited about the snow that's coming down right now because the whole reason i built this front wheel drive was to test it in the snow i used one of these a few years ago in with the rear wheel drive in the snow and it just was miserable it didn't work at all um, i built this velcro cover to cover all the electronics that just velcros off And then underneath there you have your battery, 48 volt battery, coil up the extra wire, and there's your controller. And as you can see with this one, I just uh, banded it down with some large hose clamps. It works really well, tighten it down. And then you just contain all the cable up and set it up. Every one of these when you buy them, they come with the instructions. They're very simple to set up, nothing to it. I would say if you get a front hub, not a big deal. You order just whatever size tire you have. If you're gonna do a back hub, you need to measure between those two points to get the right size, and it's probably gonna be in millimeter when you order it. And these are hub drive that I made. I wanna make a mid drive, and a mid drive puts a motor right here, and then it actually has a secondary sprocket that drives your sprocket so you can use your gears. It's a better setup, and I'm gonna build one at one point, but they're a little bit more pricey to build so um, what I learned from using this one is not having any suspension on here is almost pure hell when you're on a trail it hurts um, it, it's effective but you're standing the whole time if you try to sit you're gonna have a sore hinder so I'm gonna bring you to the next one I have my son drive up the next one and I'm gonna change this one out and uh, I'll walk you through the upgrades on what I changed and what I learned So I had my son bring this one up here, Zab, and you've seen him in the hunting videos. Um, we'll go through the changes I did on this one. This one, I've, as you can see, a lot cooler looking, obviously. I, I like this one a lot better, all blacked out. But uh, I'm going to jump to my handheld, and I'm going to walk through the changes I made on this one as well. All right. So as you can see, this one looks a lot more whipped out. This is a rear hub drive, not a mid-drive. I modified the kickstand so that it could stick up in the mud, welded the rack on, used a different battery that kind of mounts there, and this one is all welded. We welded mounting plates on here, bolted everything down. That's even welded on. The zip ties you're seeing are holding the extra cable. And then what I used there to cover up that ball of cable was uh, just a neoprene hand wrap. It's the hand wraps you get for like your luggage for in the airport, but you can see this one has full suspension, rear suspension, front suspension, and man, does it make a difference. This sucker rides smooth. This is what I would recommend to anybody. I mean, these, these suckers, it's great. It's clean, it's quiet, uh, gets you in and out of the woods without being detected. Um, if you've seen some of my other videos, I talk about these, but uh, you can drive right past deer and they don't really seem to mind i mean it, when you walk by they run away but when you're on one of these things it just seems like you can get away with a lot more uh, this is the next generation um the next one i'm going to show you is the one that i modified for my son um i i actually made a set of these the the older front wheel bike my daughter drives this one i use uh frequently and uh 
um, the one that I have for my son also. But the reason I made so many is so that we could all go out hunting at the same time or if we had a blind that was way out back in the, on some private land or some state land where you're allowed to drive, we can use these things and they're, they're quiet, they don't leave any smell, and it lets you get in and out of the woods without breaking a sweat and being all worn out by the time you get to your stand, especially if you're hunting somewhere way back. So next bike I'm gonna bring in here is my son's. All right, so now I'm gonna have my niece bring up the, my son's bike. Come on, Allison. Everybody, this is my little niece, Allison. She wanted to be in a video, so I asked her to bring the bike up. Thanks, kiddo. You're welcome. Love you, sweetie. Love you too. So here is my uh, son's e-bike. And I actually took all of the old equipment off of the first bike you've seen with the camo on it, and I moved it to this bike. It was a setup that was made for this, and I actually, on the first bike, I used the smaller tires so I could get lower to the ground. It was just easier getting on and off the bike with all my bulky clothes on. Um, but since I found I, I wanted the bigger tires for the bigger bikes and uh, this works great for my son. So at the end of this, I'm going to show you some clips of him and I riding. So, um, but I want to jump to my handheld and I'm going to go through this one with you guys quick too. So this one, just like the other ones, it's, it's a hub drive. This is a rear hub. The exception is because the frame was so small, I wasn't able to uh, mount everything inside the frame. I had to mount it on the back here, and, and all I did to tie that down was use big black zip ties. There's the controller. I'm normally silver. I painted it black, and there's the battery uh, designed to go on racks. And just the same concept as the other. You got your controller here. It's an old setup, kind of busted, so it's zip tied on there, but real nice setup. His has front suspension. I had a hard time finding him one with rear suspension on these smaller bikes, but real smooth running machine. Um, if you're ever using these things, I highly recommend you get goggles. Uh, you start slinging up mud, or in this case, we might start slinging up a little bit of snow and slush. Um, it's good to have them on. Also, make sure you guys are wearing helmets. These things are, uh, they go pretty fast. My uh, the big blackout bike that I have does about 36 miles an hour and um, the camo does about 32 and I don't know how fast this one goes but I'd assume it's probably in the 32 to 36. So make sure if you're building something like this that you know, you're, you're being safe out there. So that's my son's bike. Now we're gonna, I'm gonna take you to some footage of us riding them.
Hey YouTube, just taking a quick break here with my kiddo Taylor and Abin. We got, it's been kind of a little bit of a, a hoof back here getting over all these logs, but um, it's kind of fun on these e-bikes. Um, beats the heck out of walking, really. What do you guys think? It's a lot better than walking. It's fun. <laughs> it is fun. Tell you busted your bike. First run, you snapped it. Oh well. You guys lead again. I'm not leading the hundred percent. there you have it everybody this is the uh the experience i've had with these e-bikes you know from gen 1 to gen 2 to building one for my kids so hopefully you like what you've seen in the video don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching have a good one and be safe Let's see.
Baltimore? Yeah, it is. Or, no, because Baltimore too now. Yeah, because I have one of the weird masks. Hashtag 20. I had to get rid of my cool kid one. Yeah, but I hit a bump and I think like my hand like and it hit the button. Oh, oh no, it's off. Yeah, I was like, you don't have to drive two miles per hour. Well, it's because it was like turning back on. <laughs>